Now, let's now move into the three components of your research agenda. These are the three easy steps. If you can master these steps, or at least get started on these steps, you're well on your way to developing and expanding upon your research agenda. So the first component will start from the very top, and I want you to think of this as a pyramid. So we'll start at the very top, and then we'll move to different subtops, uh, subtopics and levels. So level one should be your primary topics. Level one should be your primary topics. And what we mean by that, these are the core topics of your research. They are the core topics of your research. Here's something you should think about when you're, you're developing your primary topics. Do they excite you? Your core topics should excite you. You're gonna spend a lot of time diving into these topics, exploring literature on it. You shouldn't hate your topics after a year. <laughs> you know, And you shouldn't hate it after two or three years. Um, you should be well enough able to re evolve it and extend it after three to five years, but you shouldn't hate it after that amount of time. So it should be topics that excite you. Um, there can be some overlap in the topics, so they don't have to be three distinct, totally different topics. You shouldn't wonder about financial accounting, uh, behavioral economics, and engineering, um, or <laughs> technical engineering in your, um, your primary topics. They should have some type of overlap, but not be so close to each other that they can actually be one and the same. Uh, so that should be um, something you should think about with your primary topics. And they should answer some question that cannot be resolved by time and a Google search. If we can go into Google and resolve your primary topic, then you should probably rethink the topic. Um, I'm not saying ditch it, but explore it deeper to a, a more future oriented issue. So let's cover that again. Your primary topics should be core topics of your research. I, I suggest no more than three. Uh, three around a research agenda tends to be the magic number. Um, they should excite you. Uh, they can have some type of overlap, but not too much. And they should answer some question that cannot be, answered, be resolved by time or a Google search. So think about that as you put together your primary topics. And I, and I say once again, the magic number should be three. So once again, those three core topics that are of importance to you, you should be able to work out in this process. Um, so that's component number one, not that hard. So if you look at it up top, if you were to actually like make a visual of this, there will be three distinct uh, primary topics and then coming from that, we get component two. From each of those primary topics, you should develop secondary topics.